Now you may remember a few months ago I made a couple of videos on watches housing porcelain dials. The first video I made I focused on why porcelain dials are so unusual, rare, expensive and beautiful of course and then the second video I made was a review of a couple of porcelain dialed watches that I'd been sent by Halcyon. Halcyon is a relatively new brand and they've just launched their second watch. Now their first watch was a sort of, well, over-the-top demonstration of what they were capable of. That watch had some really quite unusual and quirky design elements to it, a rather unusual um, sort of miniature automatic movement inside it. The crown was at the 12 o'clock. It was obscured by the strap. The dials were incredibly complex, hand-painted dials that took over a week to make. And because of all of this, they were quite expensive. But the second watch that they've now made is going to appeal to far more people and actually represents incredible value for money. It's far more simple. It doesn't have those quirky design elements. You can have it with a Miyota 9039 or SW200. The dials are more simple. You could argue more elegant, more classy. There's a couple of dial options available and these are far more affordable. In fact, I don't think there's a more affordable porcelain dialed watch out there. I did a little bit of research. Seiko Presage make an Arita dialed watch. Arita is reference to where Seiko have their porcelain dials made. There's only three locations around the world. There's one in Germany, one in China, one in Japan, and that's one of the reasons why porcelain dialed watches, and I'm talking about true porcelain dialed watches, are so rare and, well, expensive. And these are not to be confused with enamel dials. I went on to AliExpress actually to see if there were any watches claiming to have or any stores claiming to sell porcelain dialed watches. There were a handful and they're not porcelain dials. They're actually enamel dials, completely different. Porcelain dials are far more difficult to make. And in that video, um, well, let me just quickly summarize it for you. They're expensive and rare because the failure rate's around 90%. So if you want 100 dials, you're going to have to start out by making 1,000 and 900 of those. You're going to end up throwing away because they're going to get damaged. They're not going to be any good. They're also very complicated, time-consuming, and expensive to make. But you do end up with a gorgeous, elegant, captivating, sort of milky white reflective dial. Each one is individual because they're essentially handmade. They do have imperfections in them, again, because they're handmade. And I think for a number of reasons, these are going to appeal to far more people. The main reason being, of course, the price. Now, I did do some research on the alternative options out there. The cheapest watches that I could find in the UK were Seiko Presage watches with porcelain dials. Those retailed in the UK for around £1,200. In sales, I was able to pick them up for around eight or £900. I wasn't able really to find any other relatively affordable offerings out there. There are some incredibly expensive watches out there from brands like Credor with porcelain dials. You're going to pay a lot more money for those watches. Now, Halcyon are offering a couple of dial options and a couple of movement options. You can have their watches, this second watch called Journey, with either the Miyota 9039 or SW200. You're going to pay a little bit more for the watch housing the SW200. I don't think it's worth it personally. And yeah, the incredible news is when you buy their watches, they prepay import taxes. Shipping's also free. So what you pay, the websites, is all you're going to pay. And they're offering an additional 20% off at the moment. If you want the watch with the Miyota 9039, which I think is a perfectly capable and adequate movement for this watch, you're going to pay 631 US dollars. If you want to upgrade to the SW200, a Swiss made movement, of course, it's going to be 839 US dollars. And yeah, I'm really quite surprised that they're paying import taxes for us because, well, import taxes varies from country to country. Anyway, I shouldn't complain. It's rare. 
an unusual, but it's good. Now, the strap that they're sending these watches out on isn't anything spectacular. It's a fairly standard matte black leather strap. It's probably going to be replaced by most people. The buckle's nice enough. Steel buckle with halcyon underneath. It's a little bit decorative. It suits the watch. Yeah, the strap is, yeah, it's one of them. It is what it is. And the case, well, in the first watch, they made the case out of 64 grams of sterling silver. This time, they've gone for a more traditional 316L stainless steel, which is one of the reasons why this watch is significantly more affordable than the first watch that they made. Of course, it's also down to the dial being far more simple and minimalist, which I don't think we're going to complain about. These are sort of classy-looking, simple, sort of traditional dress watches, aren't they? 316 stainless steel um yeah double dome sapphire crystal a huge piece of crystal covering that massive porcelain dial which means you can appreciate this sort of milky elegant reflective texture from even the tightest of angles huge hands as well elegant hands these are blued hands they're not plated they're not coated they're not painted these are heat treated blued hands there's a little bit of loom on the second hand <laughs> no loom on the other two hands so yeah i'm not sure that was worth it if you want to time something in the dark then you're all set otherwise not a lot of point in that <laughs> dash of loom on the second sand is there and the print on the dial is so dark it contrasts so well with the white sort of milky porcelain dials and i think that's one of the reasons why these watches and these dials in particular stand out um, porcelain dials they do look different to more traditional white dials don't they they do have a certain look to them and then when you see this very dark black print on them that black to white contrast is so strong the print is super clean and crisp and under macro these yeah these dials these hands they are just gorgeous it's the sort of watch that i could sit here for hours and film very simple case, isn't it? I think it's all you'd want. You've got a couple of steps on the bezel. Everything's sort of rounded and soft and curved. There's no sharp angles or corners. Polishing is nice enough. There's no brushing. The dimensions are good. Um, yeah, I think my only grumble is really the strap. And I'm not really going to grumble about that, to be honest, because when you compare the price of this watch to the other, well, what would be normally considered affordable porcelain dialed offerings out there from Seiko. I don't think we should be expecting the very best handmade Italian leather straps. And I think most people that buy these watches probably have their own straps in mind. So in summary, I think it's great news that Halcyon have produced a porcelain dialed watch that is going to appeal from a cost perspective anyway to far more people. Also the design, it's much more simple much more traditional. I think it's going to appeal to more people because of the simplicity and I don't mind at all that we can see far more of the porcelain dial than we could with their previous watch. Yeah, their previous watch was a really interesting demonstration of what the brand is perhaps all about, but that first watch I didn't think was ever going to appeal to that many people. This watch... I think it will. And for me, the watch housing, the Miyota 9039 with the Roman numerals on the dial is the pick of the bunch. Gorgeous.